every student who comes into our building is trained to a mastery level in not just jazz, not just classical, but commercial music and um, experimental composition, which from my own career, I have learned how valuable it is to have a wide range of skill sets. So I'm happy to give that on to the next generation. Hey everybody, Mike Jeffers, Chicago Jazz Magazine, chicagojazz.com, and welcome to another episode of Around Town. This is a special episode. We're doing a series on summer programs in the Chicago and Midwest area, actually. Summer music programs, jazz programs, and just music programs in general. And a perfect person to talk with is Rachel Brown, the department chair of music at the Chicago Academy for the Arts. They have a very unique program. I'm sure many of you know the school. Uh, they've been around for many years and they have a focus on arts and they also throughout the regular curriculum focus on academics and arts but they really give a heavy focus and specific to specific arts which i love about that so if you're going into a music school you're ready to go on both levels academics and music so rachel and i are going to talk a little bit about their unique program they have this summer called creative musicians for social change which is a a summer program from june 20th through the 30th where the, the kids get together, they write basically an EP, three-tune EP, record it. It's all original music. It's fantastic hands-on uh, operations here as far as from start to finish. But it also allows the students to talk about social change, about things that are on their minds, which I think is also a very healthy thing. So, Rachel, welcome to the show. I hope I sort of set that up as best I could, but I know you're going to fill in the blanks. So thanks for being on today, and let's talk about this. Yeah, thanks for having me. So talk a little bit about the the concept. I guess first let's back backtrack just slightly. Talk a little bit. I know I set it up, but let's talk a little bit about the Chicago Academy for the Arts. Just the the main mission and day-to-day -day over there, what students can expect when they're going through a regular school year. Yeah, so as you mentioned, we're a co-curricular private independent arts high school meaning that um, the way we have it set up is basically from eight in the morning till about 1.30 in the afternoon, you're doing your academic courses. Uh, they're pretty rigorous over here. We do offer honors courses, AP courses, all those types of things. Um, and at 1.30, everything kind of changes. Um, it's actually like a, like a scene change, right? So all of the classrooms that were used for math and science and history and all those things become arts classrooms. Um, so at 1.30, we switch over and students flock to their individual arts departments. We have six arts departments, um, visual arts, media arts, theater, musical theater, dance, and of course, my department, music. And from 1.30 till officially 4.30, but oftentimes until six, um, we're working in our departments, preparing for shows, learning learning their various histories and repertoires. Um, it's a very a very full day for our students here at the academy. A, I mean, what what a great concept, first off, because it, you know, I mean, when I was a freshman in high school, I knew I wanted to be a musician, but I didn't have the luxury of having half the day essentially devoted to actually honing my craft and working with professional musicians. Now, I, I looking over your faculty list, I know a lot of the musicians you have there working on faculty, and you yourself, obviously, is a professional musician. So the students are actually getting almost like a college-level type arts experience because they're dealing with professionals. And, I, and you know, and I know, when you go to a college, you're dealing with professionals that are hands-on working, touring, doing professional shows, no matter what the discipline is. That's what's happening at the Chicago Academy for the Arts, right? Exactly. Yes. All of our faculty are not only, you know, have these professional careers, but we encourage them to maintain those professional careers um, because we understand that, you know, we become better teachers the more we perform and we become better performers the more we teach. Um, and it also helps uh, the faculty remain really relevant in understanding what the demands of the career, the field are right now. Yeah, and, and I think it's also especially important because I have another show that I do called Open Mic, where we talk to professionals about their career and about business. And if you're not in the business, you're not playing, you're not working gigs or doing shows or whatever it is, you can't teach students about the business of music in addition to just performing because those, those have to go hand in hand in order to be successful. Exactly. And I think that's sort of what's led me um on this path towards creating a summer program like musician, um, Young Musicians for Social Change is that I see this type of work popping up in the field. Um, 
and I want it reflected in what we're doing here. You know, I, I, I love the concept because creative musicians for social change and not only are they able to talk about what's on their mind and write music, but I think just the overall aspect of the whole process of putting a group together, essentially, you got 10 days, you're putting a group together, you're writing original music. I mean, lyrics, like music, like, I mean, it, it, it it's all encompassing. It's a project. And I don't think a lot of people, when they first get into, hey, I want to be a musician, I really want to do this. They don't understand the ins and outs. And there's no way to learn that unless it's hands on, which is exactly what this program is able to do, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And this really grows out of a lot of the work we're doing in the high school program itself. Um, we have this wonderful patron saint of the department, Justin Tranter, one of our alums, um, who has donated not just you know financial backing, but also um, a love for collaborative songwriting and, and music creation. Um, and so kind of under, under their, you know, it's for inspiring persona where we've been moving towards collaborative um, songwriting, collaborative composition within our department during the school year. And so now we're using those skills to help an even younger group of students in an even shorter amount of time um, use their voices in a, in a meaningful way. Well, and and so the, the age groups that you're able to target on this is seventh, eighth and ninth, correct? So that's... Yeah. That's those are the the ages that you're looking for, which is fantastic. I mean, could you imagine just going through and you're getting finished with seventh grade and you're able to come into this kind of a program and work all summer and then go back to your school? I mean, you're you're light years ahead of anybody that you're dealing with that didn't go through this program, I would imagine, too. Yeah, I think uh, absolutely. Um, it, it's such an advantage. But I think what's really special about this particular age group coming in and doing this type of work is um I, I live with an eighth grader right now and, and eighth graders are fantastic humans, but because of their age range, they oftentimes get stuck in their own self. Um, and, you know, the struggles of a seventh, eighth and ninth grader are very overwhelming. They're, they're, but they're very like about the self, right? And with music at any age level, the, one of the most amazing things about music is that it teaches us that there is something greater than ourselves. And I think that's kind of what I'm looking forward to the most is seeing that um, this age group come in and I know they're gonna come in with like some problems that are very uh, specific to seventh, eighth and ninth graders. Like here's the T at middle school right now. And I wanna write a song about this. And it's like, okay, I get that. Um, I know that you're aware that there are other things in the world happening. Uh, what if we bring those into the discussion a little bit as well? Um, and that's, that's actually what I'm looking forward to experiencing the most this summer. Well, I, I love it because it's really a way to your point. I mean, that age group, you know, I mean, they have a way of just kind of going about their business and keeping things inside. And this actually gives them a safe place to actually open up and use their creative skills, not only from a writing standpoint and getting their thoughts expressed, which maybe they would never tell you about some of this stuff, but now they're going to open up just because they're in the process. And they're also in a group, right? So they're all kind of sharing together, which is way different than just a one-on-one -on -one, uh, parent or adult to students. So that's that's a great thing. But then also they're able to use their passion for, for music, right? Drums, piano, bass, guitar, clarinet, saxophone, strings, whatever it is. I think you, you bring everybody into this. And then, I mean, on top of that whole thing, you have an incredible recording studio at the school right so now they're hands-on in a studio i mean that and this is a professional level studio so talk a little bit about that experience because outside of everything else playing and all that when you go take it from a practice room or even a, a stage and you're performing in front of people into a studio not a lot of people have that experience until they're in it professionally so this is a fantastic opportunity too absolutely and one of the greatest things actually about the element of recording is that we're bringing back one of our own alums to, to run the recording session and to teach the kids a fair amount of hands-on recording technology as well. So it's really cool that our, our alum Jaden um, will be coming back and not as a student, but in a, in a leadership, in a teaching position. Um, but just to go back to uh, something, another thing you brought up is this collaborative element, but also the sort of welcoming nature of the program where um, 
because we're just creating what we want to be creating, there's no requirement that we have, you know, this number of sax players and this number of, of singers and, you know, a rhythm section and things like that. We have technology in our program. Um, if, if we get, for instance, a bunch of singers in the, in the program, we're able to use Ableton to produce tracks uh, and really flesh out any of the projects that we want to create. But in addition to that, um, the thing that I'm really excited about with sort of the open nature of enrollment for this is we aren't limiting ourselves to any particular genre. Um, and that's a, a value that we teach in our program as well uh, during the high school, during the school year is that, you know, every student who comes into our building is trained to a mastery level in not just jazz, not just classical, but commercial music and um, experimental composition, which from my own career, I have learned how valuable it is to have a wide range of skill sets. So I'm happy to give that on to the next generation. But I also think as humans, you know, the more I learn as for myself, what these different categories of music means, the more I'm like, yeah, you know, it's, it's just wiggly air. It's just wiggly air that means something to us. That means a lot to us. Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't know how, how helpful it is for us to always categorize and label music, um, especially in a world where as humans, we categorize and label one another so frequently. Uh, and this creates such divides in our society. Um, so again, this, is, this ties into our summer program in that it doesn't matter what your background training is. If you've been playing in a jazz band your entire life, if you're a Suzuki violinist who's, who's a brilliant member of Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra, um, everyone is welcome to bring their individual voice and to use that voice to create something brand new with people who have entirely different voices from you. You know, you and I could talk about the genres of music and how things get labeled and everything, which I don't agree with either because I mean you and I have, are professional musicians and I mean I don't think of it's like okay well what am I doing today what is this what is that what is it you're playing and I love all of it and I think that I think that a majority of the people in the world not only just the musicians they're influenced by so many different genres it's really hard especially these days to like pigeonhole things into this into this into this so I love the fact that you're opening it up and also I love the fact that you know even if a lot of kids especially at this age might have been in a school jazz band or in a, a string quartet or any of those or a brass uh brass group or any of that they're going to experience all of this during this summer program and this is a great age to actually experience that because they're opening up their ears they're opening up their minds so as they go through with their careers they're really setting a great base but i i just can't get back getting back to the fact that that this the the music that you're going to be creating is opening kids up not only musically but also you know mentally and socially it's such a healthy thing i can't believe anybody's Nobody's ever done this kind of a concept for a summer program before. I just think that it's fantastic. I'm glad we're talking about it today. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, for sure. So let's give all, all the information, the Chicago Academy for the Arts, Chicago Academy for the Arts.org. It's all linked up down below. June 20th through the 30th, you can sign up now. Registration's open. And also, if you're just in general, just looking and looking at high schools and, and your student, your parent, or if you're watching this and you're a seventh or eighth grader and you're looking for high schools and some unique experiences and you want to get out and you want to really work on your craft as well as get a great education, I would suggest checking out the website as well because you're going to get all the information there. It's actually, unless I read it incorrectly, you you were like voted the number one art school in Illinois, I think, right? I mean, you're accredited. It's National yeah. School of Distinction by the John F. Kennedy Center. I mean, it, it's it, it's an incredible program and I'm glad we're talking so more people learn about this. Yeah, thanks. The the, the number one comment I get um, from my colleagues is when I tell them about the music department, they're like, oh, I wish I could have gone there. And I kind <laughs> of feel the same. I wish I could have gone to my own high school. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Exactly. All right, so everybody head out have a head over to chicagoacademyforthearts.org. Rachel Brown, I really appreciate you being on the show today and congratulations on this program this summer. I know it's going to blow up and you're going to do it for many, many more years, so that's cool. And by the way, if there's if there's any way to share any of those tracks after the fact, that'd be great cuz maybe I could drop something on chicagojazz.com and we can share it out so people can hear what the students did this summer cuz it's going to be fantastic. So thanks again. Thank you so much for having me. 
Absolutely. And thank you all for watching. As I always say, all the information is on chicagojazz.com. And until next time, hopefully I will see somebody out on the scene.